Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com. Today we're going to go ahead and root uh, the AT&T Galaxy Note 3. I've got AT&T here. Uh, if you have an SMN900A model, this is the root method. Now before we root our AT&T Note 3 here, uh, this root method will erase everything on your phone. So uh, beforehand, make a backup of your photos, uh, videos, um, whatever you can. But uh, I suggest rooting, uh, if you're going to root your phone, root it as soon as you get the phone. Uh, that way you don't have to start over. Uh, unfortunately, there's not an easier method. Uh, but since root method is here, there should be an easier method in the future using Loki Doki or uh, Safe Strap uh, if uh, XDA user hash code gets to it. Uh, so for now, this is the only method. And uh, you'll have to use a Windows or use a VMware running on top of Mac or Linux for now. Uh, that's the only way. So let's go ahead and root it. Uh, once you've made a backup of everything, uh, go ahead and power your phone off. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, hold down uh, volume down, center home, and the power button. That's volume down, center home, and the power button. Uh, so start with volume down, hold it down, center home, and then the power. Hold it for one, two, three, four, four seconds. Let it go. Hit the volume up button. All right, and you'll be in download mode. This is called the Odin download mode. Uh, go ahead and connect a micro USB cable. It can be a USB 2.0 or 3.0. I find that 2.0 actually works better, so I actually uh, suggest a 2.0. And let's go to our computer. All right, next you will have to download a very big file. It's about two gigs. Uh, it's a seven, uh, seven zip file. Uh, go ahead and unzip it. You'll get a bunch of files uh, with everything you need here. Uh, with n900 uh, blah blah dot vega you're gonna go ahead and double click on the first file n900 aucb mi9 one click dot bin go ahead and double click it and this will bring you up a uh, uh, kind of a odin uh, one click odin that already has a firmware in it you don't have to do anything just hit the start button but make sure you see this yellow highlighted uh, box if you don't see it um, try uh, make sure you've installed Samsung USB drivers if you did not install that uh, I have links on my website so go there download the drivers uh, in the step-by-step -step direction install the drivers uh, try unplugging the USB cable plug it back in and you should be able to see it now if you still don't see it try rebooting your computer and then try it again and also you can try a different USB port or a different uh, USB cable sometimes that works too I don't know why but uh, once you have this yellow highlight highlighted site, all you have to do is hit start. And this will basically um, install an older version uh, of the firmware. Um, so you'll be able to root it. And uh, basically, this will uh, wipe off everything. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. This should take anywhere between 10 to uh, 20 minutes, depending on speed of your computer and uh, whatnot. So I'll be back uh, when this is done. And we'll fast forward this. It is almost done here. Uh, if you don't get any errors, um, you should be all good to go. You should see reset, pass, and you'll see your phone rebooting into star recovery, which I just missed uh, because of my camera, but uh, it's doing that. And basically wiped off everything from your phone. I'll let it boot. Now it should be cleared um, like a factory state, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so when it rebooted, um, you'll have to start over obviously. It's wiped everything off. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Just go through the, uh, the start setup here. And then we're gonna go ahead and reboot it uh, back into uh, bootloader mode. All right. So next, go ahead and uh, turn the power off. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, put it back into uh, Odin download mode by holding down volume down, center home, uh, power button. And then we're going to go ahead and connect it back to our computer. And we're going to have to flash one more file. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, hold down volume down, center home, and the power. One, two, about three seconds. I'll hit the warning sign. I'll hit volume up and go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer and then we'll go on from there. All right, next you can go ahead and close this. 
and we're going to go ahead and run Odin 3 uh, v 3.09 here. Say yes. And this will bring up uh, Odin 3. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose, don't touch anything else, choose AP there. Uh, also, if you're using Odin, Odin 1.85, you can just ch choose PDA. Same thing. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and choose root de la, uh, de la vega dot tar. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go here and hit AP. I'm going to choose root de la, uh, de la vega dot tar. Hit OK, open, all right? And all I'm gonna do is hit the start button down here. That's all I'm gonna do. And make sure you see a yellow, uh, blue highlighted uh, box. You should see that. Um, there you go, and go ahead and hit start. And this will flash a rooted uh, version of the, uh, the latest firmware. And we are almost done. Uh, and this should take another uh, 10 minutes or so. So I'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all of this. All right, uh, it is almost done. Uh, let me point out, if you get any fails during any of this, um, during running the one click or this one, um, you know, it, it's usually because, um, you know, something wrong with your USB port. Uh, if you're using like USB 1.0 through like an old hub, uh, try connecting it directly to your computer. And also uh, make sure keys program isn't running, the Samsung keys. Uh, make sure it's turned off and you can try again. And if you fail, you get this uh, firmware, uh, error encountered uh, error and uh, if you do get that you can always run Odin again um, it's not a problem and you'll see that it is now also doing the same thing it's went to stock recovery it's just doing a factory reset uh, it's gonna reboot all right and we'll go on to the next step um, anyway if you do get a uh, fail Odin is pretty safe I've never seen a brick phone with uh, using Odin uh, the only problem is you know sometimes you get a uh, firmware encountered error message, you can rerun Odin in that mode, um, reboot your phone, and then put it into Odin, and it will still recognize, and you can rerun the program. You anyway, know, I just want to point that out, and I'll be back shortly uh, when this reboots. All right, next, go ahead and sign in again. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip all of this. All right, let me go ahead and exit. Agree. Next. Skip. All right, finish. All right, let's go back and connect it back to our computer, all right? We're gonna copy some files over. Um, so what you're gonna do next is go ahead and close this up. Uh, go back here and unzip this root de, de la vega dot zip. Uh, extract all the files. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract it using uh, the Windows extractor. And we're gonna go ahead and copy these, these two files, this folder and this file, go ahead and copy. Do a right click copy, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and copy it to our computer. Um, let me go ahead and reconnect it. There we go. And it should show up here in a second. There we go. I've got my Samsung uh, SMN900A, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and I'm gonna go to phone here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paste it in the root directory here, uh, which is the main directory. And you should now have root files and uh, root de la vega dot sh. All right. Um, so next, we're going to go ahead and just reboot our phone. Um, you can unplug the cable. I'm going to simply go ahead and restart. All right. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and wait, and I'll be back. All right, once rebooted, um, you'll have to delete the files. So go to My Files. And go ahead and go to uh, all here and go down to uh, these two files you copied over earlier so go ahead and uh, do a long press there uh, select both and delete it all right and then you're gonna have to reboot one more time and you should now be fully rooted uh, on the latest uh, AT&T firmware with root now as far as custom ROMs go um, that we'll have to wait for uh, but now you'll get this custom thing uh, because obviously it's been rooted and I believe this actually doesn't um, doesn't take off the NOx uh, but we'll check it at the end uh, just in case just just to find out um, yes but uh, clock or my recovery should come in the form of safe trap probably through hash code uh, I think 
that's probably the method we're gonna have to use. Uh, let me go ahead and find that super SU is there. Go ahead and run it. All right, go ahead and hit continue. Hit normal. Installing, please wait. All right, uh, and you should be all good to go. You can reboot or you don't have to. Let me go ahead and download a uh, rooted app to verify. All right, I highly recommend you use Titanium Backup app um, to back up all of your apps. Um, so you can go ahead and download Titanium Backup app, it's free. Uh, this will back up all of your apps. And boom shakalaka, we got super user requests, uh, which means you have full uh, root. And as for um, restoring apps with Titanium Backup app, there's a new method workaround um, that you'll have to know. So go check the FAQ. Uh, the big FAQ on my site, galaxynote3root.com, if you ever want to restore apps correctly. Backing up works just fine. Um, just restoring, uh, you'll have to be sure of that. Anyway, now you should be fully rooted uh, on the AT&T Galaxy Note 3. And if this video has helped you root um, your Galaxy Note 3, uh, don't forget to donate to the developer Design Gears XDA user. I always have links to credits at the end of my website. Uh, you know, even a dollar should help since this guy is the one who found the root um, and he fully deserves it. And as always, um, if this video has helped you root your phone, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Ronald of the Week tips, stuff like this, and uh, it's no spam of any kind. It's just on Note 3 stuff. Um, and also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button, or wherever it is, and we'll have more cool stuff coming. And I've got the Verizon Note 3 route uh, coming soon, also on this channel. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll stay hot on Android.